Hi and welcome back to Scotty's Tech.info. I'm Scotty with my co-host Cletus and this video is about USB Ethernet adapters for things like smartphones and tablets. Uh, I was going to make a video about this earlier. I didn't because the answer is basically it's complicated. Uh, but so many people have asked me about it that I figured, well, I'd better just make the video, even though my short answer is it's complicated. So you have a smartphone, you have a tablet, and um, if you've watched some of my other videos about 5G and Wi-Fi and how it's, it's bad for you, essentially, or may, according to certain studies, it's bad for you, yeah, you're probably asking the question, well, okay, I want to use uh, an Ethernet cable with my smartphone or my tablet, so how do I do that? And the two questions that you're probably going to ask is, uh, can I do that with my smartphone or tablet? And then which one should I buy? And the answer to both questions is, it's complicated. First of all, let's see what it actually looks like when you do it and it works. So here I have, I have a tablet and nothing is connected. And here I have, I have various uh, adapters. This one is quick, quick, quick quack, 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 quack. Uh, it's the weirdest brand, but um, this is a USB type C, the oval connector, USB 3.1. You see you have an ethernet jack here, and on this kind you have extra USB ports, which is pretty cool. Um, I'm gonna call these dongles. It's a little bit complicated here because a dongle historically is a, uh, a software security device. Usually it's like a USB stick, a USB key, and it has a secret code on it. And if you use it with something like, you know, expensive CAD software or something, uh, you put the, the USB dongle in and it has the secret code in, in its memory. And that means that when you run your CAD software, the CAD software can look at the secret code on the USB stick and boom, the software works. It's to prevent piracy, basically. Uh, this term dongle has expanded to include uh, essentially any sort of generally USB type device that gives you something extra, like, like for example, an Ethernet port or a little um, extra, extra Ethernet, Ethernet port, extra USB. Um, there are USB graphic adapters. All of those are basically also called dongles nowadays. And I use the word dongle because even though it's goofy, it's a heck of a lot easier than saying USB Ethernet adapter. So in any case, here is my Samsung tablet. Here is the dongle that I'm going to test. So I'm, all I'm going to do, as you can see on the screen of the tablet, I am in airplane mode right now. So what I'm going to do, I neglected to unroll my Ethernet cable before I started. So give me a second here, I'm gonna plug this into my hub, switch rather, and then I've got my, my ethernet jack. I'm gonna stick that in here, and then I'm gonna plug it into the bottom of the tablet, into the USB-C port. And then we're going to notice something interesting here. At the top here, if we wait a second, do 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 you'll notice Okay, so it says four updates available. You'll notice at the top here, right next to the airplane, there's a funky little symbol. And that symbol is, it's actually an ethernet jack with an in and an out arrow. It's kind of hard to see, but that's actually the indicator that we're connected to ethernet. So now if I hop on, uh, open a web browser, hop on the internet or something, uh, like I can open up Chrome and we can go to We can go to, you know, let's go to Amazon. Ta-da, the internet works. Now, as you can see, we have different types here. This is a, this is a USB micro plug. It's kind of trapezoidal. Uh, this guy is actually fast ethernet. Um, this is kind of a more generic one. Here's an Amazon basics version which actually has a standard USB plug on the end. Uh, this is another even fancier quack quack. This is the one that I use with my tablet. So I can actually connect this 
to my tablet and I have I can hook up multiple USB devices to the tablet I have Ethernet and I it, it also this power adapter plugs in here so it's actually also going to charge the tablet while I'm using it so this guy is pretty cool of course I'll put links to all these down in the description so if you want to to grab one uh, you can check it out and see if it will work with your device and finally we have another example this guy this is a Linksys and this is a gigabit Ethernet adapter and he's USB 3.1 okay so those are some of the different types obviously you're gonna want one with either a USB type C or uh, a micro USB port if you're using it with a smartphone or a tablet it depends on the smartphone or tablet that you have what the USB port is uh, you also have to decide between fast Ethernet and gigabit Ethernet typically gigabit Ethernet um, it will probably be a USB type C otherwise you'll need an adapter because uh, USB 2 maxes out at like 480 megabits per second which is obviously much slower than a thousand megabits per second or one gigabit so um, for most devices uh, if unless you have a newer device you're gonna just want to get like a, a normal fast Ethernet adapter like this guy okay so the first question again is can I actually use a USB dongle, an Ethernet dongle, with my device? And the answer is, it's complicated. Um, for example, if you have a Kindle ebook reader, you can't use Ethernet with it. If you have a Kindle Fire tablet, you're out of luck. If anyone actually has gotten one working, let me know in the comments below, because um, I have tried and I have uh, did a little research, and basically everyone says, no, you can't. And the reason why is because Kindle Fire tablets run uh, a f a, an Amazon flavor of, of Android, basically, and uh, they don't include the necessary drivers. Because if you have, let's say you get one of these Ethernet dongles, um, you can use one of these with your laptop, for example, like this one, this Linksys one. I'm pretty sure this was one that actually came with one of those little mini CDs, and it has, has drivers on it for Windows, Linux, Mac. Uh, so more often now you'll buy one of these and they'll say if you have say Windows 10 or a Mac or whatever um, go to this URL and you can download the drivers for it so if Windows if you plug this into like say your Windows laptop and he doesn't detect it you can actually go on their website and download the driver install it on your lappy and then this guy will actually work with Android um, that's not really possible as far as I know in order to install any kind of driver you have to have you have to root Android. Uh, most devices obviously are not rooted, and even if you do root it, uh, it's not a simple process to try to add a driver, and it's it's pretty hairy. So when you have a device like <clears throat> uh, a Kindle Fire tablet, you can't actually add any drivers for it, and it doesn't really come with any drivers for USB Ethernet devices because they simply assume, oh, you're going to use Wi-Fi, and that's it. Um, other phones from other manufacturers, other tablets from other manufacturers are the same way. And so, um, yeah, will one work with your, with your tablet? You have to actually, like, Google it and find out. And it's not simple because people will claim, yes, it works, no, it doesn't. The thing I actually recommend is, I know people, some people actually kind of hate Amazon, but <laughs> it's actually pretty useful because you can hop on Amazon and you type in, like, the make and model of your device, like... You know Samsung Galaxy S 322 uh, Ethernet dongle and you'll get a, a list and you can you can click each of those and uh, usually they'll say this works with Samsung Galaxy S this blah blah this one works with iPhone this one works with blah 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 and then you scroll down you read the reviews to make sure that people are actually saying yeah I got this it works with my device so yeah that kind of answers both questions will it work with my device and which one should I pick uh, you have to actually just look it up and find out. A little word of warning, I showed you on here on my tablet, you see the little Ethernet indicator. That's not actually always the case. Uh, on this tablet, which is a little bit newer, you see the indicator. If you have like a pure Android device like a, um, like a Nexus or a, a Google Pixel device, you should see that icon. But if, say, you have like a Samsung smartphone, what they do is they take the open source Android and they pile all of their Samsung stuff on top of it and very often that means that they change things in the user interface. Um, many years ago I had a smartphone where I actually had to turn the Wi-Fi on. In order to not use the Wi-Fi, I actually had to turn the Wi-Fi on 
then plug in the Ethernet dongle and connect the Ethernet cable, and then it would actually detect the, <laughs> the Ethernet dongle and turn off the Wi-Fi for me. And it was like, so I have to turn on the US, turn on the Wi-Fi so that I can not use the Wi-Fi. And like, that was only one phone, and I, I can't remember which model that was, but um, the point is that you may actually see this little indicator on there. You may see absolutely nothing. You, you plug it in, you plug the, the, the Ethernet dongle in, you plug the Ethernet cable in, you wait like, you know, maybe five, 10 seconds, your router or your, your ISP modem will, using DHCP, it'll give an address to your gizmo. And so after you wait five or 10 seconds, you try to access the internet, but there may not actually be an indicator that it's connected and it's working. That depends on your device. It depends on the manufacturer. Um, so in addition to not even knowing which one to get and if it's going to work, you have to look that up. Um, there may not even be any indicator that it's connected and working. You just have to try to access the internet and, and see if it works. And it all depends on your device. So yeah, as I say, it's complicated. For more techie tips, see scottystech.info. Thanks for watching. See you next time.